Good morning children. Now you know how to calculate the perimeter of a square. Now let's see how to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle. Now what is a perimeter? Perimeter is the total distance around a shape or a figure. Or you can say the boundary of a figure which is closed is called the perimeter of the closed figure. Like here the red dotted lines indicate the perimeter of this figure. Now what is the perimeter here? If we know the length of the sides then we can calculate the perimeter. So the perimeter here is equal to 50 meters plus 50 meters plus 50 meters plus 50 meters which is equal to 200 meters. This is Mehnat Ram. He bought a piece of land and he wanted to fence uh, this land in order to prevent the stray animals entering the field and destroying his field. So what should he do? He has many small pieces of wire. So he wanted to use them to fence his field. Now how can he use these wires? See, he put poles around the farm and this is the way he started putting the small pieces of wires in order to fence his farm. Now he started putting the piece of wires to make the fence like this. He put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of wire on this side. Next he put one, two, three, four, five pieces of wire on this side. Next again he put ten pieces of wire and again five pieces of wire. So total how many pieces of wire did he use? He used ten plus five plus ten plus five which is thirty pieces of wire. Let us see how he did it one by one. So he put one piece, two piece, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten pieces of wire on this side. So the total number of wire used on this side is equal to ten. Now coming to the next side. How did he put it? Let's see. He put one, two, three, four, five. He put five pieces of wire on this side. So the number of wire pieces used here is equal to five. Same way he filled all the sides and what do we see? Here he used 10 pieces of wire. This side he used 5 pieces of wire. This side again 10 and this side again 5 pieces. This means this farm is rectangular in shape. Correct? So what is the total number of pieces used in order to fence this farm? It is 10 plus 5 plus 10 plus 5 and it is equal to 30 pieces. See 10, 5, 10 and 5. So in all 30 pieces of small wires got used in order to fence this farm. Now if the length of the small wire used for fencing is equal to 1 meter then if we start putting all this wire in a straight line without any overlap 
or without any gap in between then what do we see one two three four five so the total length here would be equal to five meters as five wires are used here to make this line so what do we see the length of the wire used on this side will be equal to 10 meters this side it will be 5 meters this side 10 meters and this side 5 meters so the perimeter would be equal to 10 meter plus 5 meter plus 10 meter plus 5 meter which is equal to 30 meters understood now if we look here what do we see we see there are two sides which are longer and these are the lengths of this rectangle see this is 10 and this is 10 what about these two sides they are known as the width of the rectangle as they have smaller lengths and each of this side is equal to 5 meters and how did we calculate the perimeter it was 10 plus 10 and 5 plus 5 that is 2 times the length and 2 times the width so the perimeter was equal to 10 that is the length multiplied by 2 plus 5 which is the width multiplied by 2 and we got the answer as 30 meters so what did you understand that if the length and the width of rectangle is given we can calculate the perimeter as twice of length plus twice of width to get the perimeter so if you want to calculate the perimeter of any rectangle and if you know its width and the length then the perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width and the unit could be anything meter, kilometer, centimeter etc depending on what unit was used to tell about the width and the length the important thing would be that both the width and the length should be expressed in the same unit and in case if they are not then convert both the unit into one common unit and that would be the unit of the perimeter understood so that was all about the perimeter of rectangle bye bye children